Oh my god. Babe, what are you doing? Spray painting? But you're getting spray paint on the grass. Where do you want me to spray paint? Uh, I don't know, on the street? Hi everyone, Rob the Average Long Guy. Welcome back. So in today's video, I want to talk about height of cut and what you're not being told. Now when it comes to Bermuda lawns, Bermuda likes to be kept at around 1 inches at height. Now achieving 1 inch of height on your Bermuda is definitely possible. And what you may not be aware of is that keeping it at 1 inch and maintaining a good look is very difficult. You talk to any landscaper out there and they'll tell you that they maintain their customers lawns at about one and a half to two inches. Anything below that, they start scalping the lawn and it makes it look very unsightly. And you can kiss goodbye to your business because most customers are not gonna tolerate a scalped lawn. In order to keep the lawn at one inch and keep it looking good, you're gonna need a level turf. And I can tell you roughly about 80 to 90% of lawns are not leveled. And there is nothing wrong with having an unleveled lawn. But it's just a fact of life that many homes are not leveled when it comes to their lawns. So besides a level lawn, you're going to need to consider real mowing. And I can tell you, most homeowners are not going to go and spend $1,500 on the real mower. That is way out of the budget. So let's say you do have a level lawn and you happen to have a real mower. You're not going to keep a Bermuda at one inch looking good for long without very good irrigation. And I'm not just talking about one to one and a half inches a week. You're going to have to irrigate it pretty often, mostly to cool it down during the hot summer months. You see a low cut turf is prone to water evaporation at the roots. And the roots at the same time is going to be exposed to the sunlight and to the heat of the sun. Those combination of factors is going to make it very stressful for your lawn and the only way to relieve that stress is to properly irrigate to cool it down. I made a video about irrigating the lawn and how you can provide relief cooling. I'll link it in the description right here. But essentially, you're still providing one and a half inches per week, but at the same time, you're coming out anytime it's over 90 degrees and you're gonna irrigate some more, mostly just to cool it down, not really to get water down to the roots. So most of us out there have rotary mowers and there's nothing wrong with that. It is completely acceptable. But one of the downsides to rotary mowers is the way the blade spins, it tends to rip the grass and shred it as opposed to real mowing. Real mowing cuts it. Also with rotary mowers, you can see in this clip right here, as I'm passing by the camera, you can see the mower is bouncing up and down and that's because it's hitting bumps and divots in the lawn and that's very normal. So to keep it at one inch with a rotary mower is next to impossible without causing brown scalp marks. The whole point of this video is to point out, don't be afraid to raise your height of cut. My height of cut right now is 2.5 inches and I am not ashamed of that. At 2.5 inches, I'm avoiding most scalp situations. And at the same time, I'm maintaining a nice green lush grass by keeping it high. By keeping it high, I'm avoiding having to irrigate too often. And that's money you're saving on water bills. And you can see, even though I keep my Bermuda during the summertime at 2.5 inches, I'm still having to deal with scalp marks. It's just a fact of life. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So until you level the turf, you're just gonna have to deal with cutting high. There's no way around it. So at this time of year in August, you should have already started to raise your mower height. And don't be afraid to go higher just to achieve that look you want on your lawn. Even though Bermuda likes to be kept at one inches, that is almost impossible with an unleveled turf. And at the same time, if you don't have a real mower, you're not gonna get that look you want. Just a side note, if you're here in Georgia just like me, we're in August, this is the time you wanna make sure you get your granular bug control on your lawn ASAP because now we're approaching the cycle of army worms and army worms can severely weaken your lawn if you're not on top of it. So spread a granular insecticide on your lawn. Most insecticides out there are labeled to kill army worms and grubs. So use any product you like, but just get it down. You're gonna prevent future problems by doing that. I made a video about bug control. I'll link it in the description. 
right here. So I know this is a bunch of information and I want to keep this video short and not make it long and drawn out. But just follow these little tips and you're going to have a successful rest of the season. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Look at this. Paint all over the grass. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.